yeah, so I'm playing with that girl. She is not one of them. No, it's hard out here for a pimp, you ain't know. Why is this happening? And why is this appropriate for a child show? But y'all, we have reached 500 subbies. Right? morning y'all happy monday welcome to a new weekly vlog my name is Aaliyah Ariel. if you are new here and i make videos about lifestyle beauty travel and fashion content so if there's something that you like make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below and share this video with a friend y'all we are headed to work we got a busy week ahead i started my day by working out hold on car I started my day by working out. We got a good workout in. I'm gonna insert those clips right here. And as y'all can see, I have my pink bin behind me. Y'all know we purging. Um, I did record a couple of clips of me getting everything packed up and bringing it to the car. So I'll insert that now. So we are gonna take this big shoe bin and then I have this clothes basket as well not a basket but a garbage bag full of clothes as well it might be smarter for me to get my wagon so I can go out with one trip so let's do that But yeah, we are headed to work. I have on my favorite Zillow glasses. Um, I get a lot of compliments on these tortoiseshell glasses. So yeah, I do have a Zillow link. I will leave it down below in the description box. You need some blue light glasses, especially if you are a girly who is always on the computer. Um, if you didn't know, the blue screen does cause headaches. So I do wear these to protect my eyes and I also wear them because they're cute. Uh, but we do have a busy work day y'all i gotta get some evals done we are now working on our april evals so i can give myself a pat on the back for that if i'm able to finish this eval today i'm gonna be almost done with the first week in april which leaves me space and availability for this whole week to get caught up even to get ahead even more so I'm happy about that, but I didn't want nothing, y'all. I just wanted to come out here and start the vlog. So, I will see y'all a little bit later today. All right, y'all. Work day is over. Can y'all guess what I left at home this morning? And I had nothing but time to get myself together. I left my lunch, so we are leaving Chick-fil-A. I got a kale salad at grilled chicken tenders. And I had a side of fries, even though I don't need those potatoes. But for dinner... We're only having, well, we ain't got no bread for dinner, no carbs. We got cream corn, we got um, broccoli and salmon. Y'all, that salmon's so good. I took a bite. I took a bite off of a piece of that salmon yesterday. <sighs> Bussin. I wanted a specific type of bourbon glaze, but the one that I got turned out to be good. Okay, they want me to go this way. I'm gonna go down here because I think it's a traffic light. <clears throat> I really need to go and Target and get some feminine products, but I don't want to. So I don't know if I am. I also need to go to Sam's this week. I don't know. We about to go to the donation center right now. It depends on how I feel and what time it is when we leave the donation center. I'm pretty sure I got to pass probably like two or three Targets before I get home. So we can for sure go to Target today. All right, y'all, so we decided to take our clothes that we are giving away to a woman's shelter this time. I normally go to Goodwill, but Leilani um, mentioned a woman's shelter, so here we are at Star of Hope. In this clip, I couldn't really record, but the guy is taking everything in. They were super grateful for all of those shoes.
chalet. I laid on that couch, took a nap, and now we are awake. And I feel like I've been asleep for hours. Like, I feel like even my skin looks refreshed right now. That mark went away, kinda. But I'm gonna have to do some extra TLC. Cause I don't want no mark smack dab in the middle of my head. I need to further prepare for my week. I have a work professional development meeting coming up this Thursday. And I'm gonna be away from my job site literally all day long. So, and then while we at Professional Development Girl, they don't be wanting us to be on our computer. I can't type no reports. I can't type no meeting notes. I can't do nothing, okay? So I have decided that I'm gonna use tonight to kind of like prep all my paperwork for this week, see what evals I have coming up, make some requests, all of the things. I'm gonna do that tonight. It's seven o'clock. Girl, we got six minutes on this memory card, which has to be a lie. <laughs> anyway, we're about to go walk the dog before it gets dark. So, let's go. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, now I'm entering my bed. Had a few dreams about you, I can't tell you what we did. I expected to see you on your morning run again. No, I shouldn't be watching, cause every time I feel the pain. It is a couple of hours later and we are getting this nighttime routine started. I'm toning my face with some witch hazel. I ran out of my good molecule, so I'm just going to have to use this for now. So Ulta is having their 50% off certain beauty brands every day until March 28th. And then right after that, Sephora is having their um, Sephora savings event. Of course, in my opinion, Ulta's savings are a lot better because you're getting 50% off of certain products. However, the caveat is at Sephora, you can get anything 10%, 15%, 20%, and I think 30% off. I'm at the lower tier. I think I might be getting probably 15% off. Um, I haven't checked my status in a while, but I honestly don't spend that much at Sephora. I spend more at Ulta than I do at Sephora. So not really expecting a huge discount, but I am expecting something. And I am planning to get some things from Sephora. I think we're coming to the end of this braid journey. And I'm really upset about it, y'all, because I really enjoy my hair. It's been so quick, so easy to manage. I can freshen it up. I can put it up in a bun. I can do so much with this. I found some picture lights on Amazon. I did not place the order yet, so I want to see what I'm going to think about them first. Um, but I've been looking for picture lights that are both black and gold. This still got my face itchy. That's why I don't like using this stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. But um, I found some that were black and gold. Um, instead of me just doing all black or just all gold, I want to do both black and gold. So I'm going to send those to my mom and see what she feels about them. I sent out reminders for this dinner that I am hosting with my girls this weekend for our monthly outing it's a new restaurant in houston that has performances i saw chelsea go to a, a saloon inspired restaurant in atlanta and they had like the fire the girls doing dance with the fire and stuff like that i don't think the restaurant we're going to has fire dancers but they have entertainers so i'm excited of course i don't have anything to wear i i texted the girls I texted the girls a reminder today so that they can remember, like, hey, don't forget we're meeting up this weekend. A couple of them texted me back and they like, what you wearing? <laughs> and I'm like, sis, I don't know. One of my homegirls told me that she already uh, been looking for clothes, so she's on top of it. Y'all know how I do. But I'm not going to talk y'all head off any longer. We are going to end tonight's vlog here. I need to shower and get in the bed. I will see y'all in the morning. Mm.
Not the Mexican margarita jars. Huge. Looking for the salad jars that went viral. But my stores never have them. Because they're plastic and not glass. All I see is glass. <sighs> My mama said she would get some for me, but I want one now. At the brow spot, y'all. Mm -hmm. We're about to get these brows taken care of because they look a mess. So this is the before. Y'all, I'm going to have to start going to my place because I feel like this lady thinned out my brows. Yeah, she definitely did. And she cut this one. This one, this brow was always short as it is. But it literally stops right there. It, it's normally a couple. Yeah, it's normally a couple hairs at the tail end. But baby, she didn't chop it off. And she thinned this part, my brow bone part out. So I'm gonna have to let my brows grow out and start back putting castor oil on there. This is a lesson, cause the first time I came to this place, I did good. And now this is the second time and I'm not happy. It might take my brows forever to grow back in. I feel like I'm not mad enough, honestly. Hmm. This is real ghetto. Tries me insane. I ain't got a clue, bruh. Wait. So, what can I say to you? That I'm off day, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. We all true. I was always holding you down. You down. Hello, guys. Happy Wednesday. I did not check in with y'all earlier today at work, but we did have an evaluation. We had two meetings today. Tomorrow is a full meeting day. I need to call. When I call, well, I need to send text messages out tonight so that I can uh, reschedule some of my visits that I normally have on Thursday, possibly to Friday, but Friday is a full day for me as well. Um, whew, yeah, I'm still out of breath from that Pilates workout. It was just a quick 25 minute workout. As a matter of fact, let me pause this because I gotta go outside and walk the dog. Um, get some more steps in for today. But I just did a beginner friendly Pilates workout. I will pop the channel on the screen, but just so I won't forget, the channel name is Issa Welly. I just want to get on here and say hi to y'all. We have a busy night. I don't know why. I have so many reports due at one time. I don't like it. Monday was busy. Or was it Tuesday? I can't remember. One of those days this week, I was busy doing reports and stuff. And I didn't get a chance to fully um, vlog with y'all this week. But we have a pretty paperwork heavy week. Because tonight, I got to do some paperwork stuff. And I can't really vlog. I could vlog myself doing the paperwork, but that's not really exciting to see. Um, yeah, I got an Amazon package. I guess I could show y'all that. But this is possibly, this is probably going to be a chill weekly vlog. I did want to talk to y'all about that Nickelodeon series. Maybe we can watch that tonight, get some more details about it, and then talk to y'all bright and early about it in the morning. But just from what I've been seeing on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff, Dan Schneider is a predator, okay? Well, now, I will admit and say that I had no clue who Dan Schneider was until yesterday. Like, I watched some of those uh, Nickelodeon shows. Like, I watched Drake and Josh. I watched The Amanda Show. I watched a little bit of iCarly. Um... Just Jordan aired for just a little bit, but Just Jordan, the real actor, his he said his parents was not playing with that Dan Schneider character. Okay, he wasn't playing with him. 
um the camera is about to shut down because it's getting high but we're gonna finish this conversation about nickelodeon and their predators in just a second i decided to mute this clip and do a voiceover because i was just talking based off clips and stuff that i had seen on tiktok and I was mentioning the wrong person's name. So I'm gonna do this voiceover, y'all. If y'all have not seen Quiet On Set, please go watch it. If you have cable, Hulu, any type of streaming service, you can find it on the ID channel, the Investigation Discovery channel, or you can find it on Peacock or HBO Max. Check it out, please, especially if you are a 90s baby. So in a nutshell, Dan Schneider is the brainchild of Nickelodeon. He created so many Nickelodeon shows, Drake and Josh, iCarly, all that, just Jordan, mostly all of our childhood shows. And he was just super mean to the cast. And he was one of those types of people that you could feel their energy when they came to the room. And um, a lot of the things that he would put into the shows were very sexual like having a jelly squirted in a girl's face ariana grande was squeezing a potato like a p-e-n-i-s and she was moaning and groaning and that was on pretty much almost all of the shows y'all it was pretty sick and then the caveat of it all is drake and josh um well drake from drake and josh he ended up having to file a sexual assault um case on somebody i don't want to tell the whole thing but yeah drake is the person who was sexually assaulted and the person who assaulted him was not dan schneider it was somebody else named brian pick look it up y'all i don't want to give y'all all the details right now they have four episodes and it's really good so check it out i feel like a lot of the parents the hollywood parents they probably didn't know what they were signing up for like they wanted their child to be famous yes they wanted to be rich and wealthy yes but i'm pretty sure they some of them were not aware that they were signing their kids up to be predators while some of them probably turned a blind eye it's so crazy y'all that we live in a very crazy world like really got to be careful of what you allow your kids to watch I will say that my parents did not really just hound in on me watching Nickelodeon because it was Nickelodeon. And I would be in my room watching TV and they would be in the living room. And of course we would have like family movie night and stuff like that, but they ain't never just sit with me and watch iCarly. They ain't never just sit with me and watch Zoe one on one because they was not interested in that. And the stuff wasn't overtly sexual to me as a child. I didn't know what was going on. I just thought they were trying to be funny, probably. But Aaliyah today, 29 years old, looking back at those clips that they showing on TikTok, it's very sexual. It's actually very uncomfortable to watch. Y'all, I just started watching Power Video. And I have been ranting and raving about Rihanna's skin tint. Not her, well, yeah, I've been raving about her skin tint, but the perfume, I've been raving about it. And girl, why did Kyra put it on sale? What is this? Oh, this is what a company sent to me. Interesting. I thought these was the headphones. Yeah, this is definitely from a company that reached out to me um, via email. They found me through YouTube. They want me to do a YouTube short. And I got some under cabinet lighting. So I will probably do that this weekend. Where's my headphones at? But anyway, back to what I was saying. Fenty is having their Fenty Fam sale. And I just so happened to turn on Kyra's video and my girl gave a 30% off coupon. I am a Sephora VIB member, but I don't know if I'm like Beauty Inside or Rouge, whatever. I think I would probably only get 10 to 15% off of whatever I purchase. However, girl, Fenty is giving 30% off. So that was nobody but God. Like, hey, let me give you an extra 20, 15 to 20% off. So go ahead and buy that from Fenty and I Sephora. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it tonight. 
I am sitting at the island, y'all, because I know if I sit on the couch, I won't get my work done in a timely manner. Kyra's video is one hour. I've already watched, watched almost 10 minutes of it. So that leaves me with about 50 minutes to write a report. But yeah, I'm excited about those lights. I don't know if I wanna put them in my closet, under my um, cabinets, in my kitchen, under the island, in the bathroom, under the cabinet. Uh -huh. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Today has been such a good day, y'all. Today is March 21st, 22nd, and we have had a busy day at work. I had meetings, had to do some testing, child with the testing. Somebody child almost popped me in my eye with a bat. I mean, with a, a block. Where I get a bat from? Hold on, y'all look dirty. Yeah, somebody child almost popped me in my eye with a block. And then he took my bear and was beating my book up with it. I'm so I did wear my scrubs today because I knew I was going to be testing a little kid. Normally they be having me sweating because they just can't be seen. But I told y'all I ordered some um, headphones from Amazon earlier this week. They came, but Wednesday, apparently my locker system had a outage or something. So they didn't put the packages in the locker. They had them in the leasing office. So I ordered some airpod what, what are they called airpro airpod no not airpod air max i don't know <laughs> airpro max i don't know basically these are apple headphone dupes okay not they've been up not they already been open oh lord this is the second time i got some from amazon and it looked like this I already open this is ghetto and is this even the color that I order, girl? I don't know. I need to go back and see. Let me go. This is ghetto. I thought I ordered light gray. This is the color that they sent me. Let me wipe these ears down and then see how I feel about them. Don't know about these. The color is cool. I ain't even gonna trip about the color. Yeah, I think I'm gonna send these back. All right, y'all, we are in the closet. Lexi is still not here yet, but she is around the corner. And I'm about to start putting away stuff that I have used this week because I'm not gonna be leaving stuff out. So this closet can be back unwalkable. We have had a really busy week, y'all, honestly. I feel like I ain't even had time to think. I made the sacrifice. Look at this door still wide open, baby, from yesterday. But yeah, a couple nights this week, I made the sacrifice of not editing. So there won't be a Saturday vlog so that I can be on top of my work stuff because I have, well, I had um, three reports to write by today. One of them I got to write um on wednesday and the other two i had to write last night this morning i just had to add the finishing touches so that was really good because i didn't feel like i had to stay at work late today to do it so three snaps for that but why am i trying to make that is his room though that is his bedroom so i can't i can't talk too much noise but he's trying to make his bedroom into a man cave, which we both share the room. And to be quite honest, that room was supposed to be like for me to film like my YouTube videos and stuff in. Why he sending me couches and sofas and stuff to put in that room? And I feel some type of way. Even though I know I ain't finna decorate it for, the, for my YouTube stuff, I'm just not gonna do it. I'll just rather have a closet room 
than to decorate that space, you know? So, I'll help him do a man cave, though. I have no problem with that. Um, I just thought that was so funny. Let me go try to show y'all the couch that he sent. He sent the black couch, but that won't be a good decision because Rocco's little hair will be everywhere. And what color should we get? I really don't want to get everything in this house gray, but I just feel like that's a safe color. Especially when you have like a dog and stuff. Like maybe we can go charcoal gray, kind of like our bed, because I do like that color. I think brown would be, you know, a, a different touch, but we ain't got really nothing brown in here. I've been seeing the girls do like a light brown sofa. And I sent Myron some outfits, y'all, because we have an alumni, a high school alumni game coming up. And he is one of the sponsors. And y'all, he got us floor seats because he is a sponsor. So I need to be looking cute. So I sent him this outfit. It's like a cargo skirt and a graphic tee with some dunks. I don't think this is really my style for real. But I think a long skirt would look cute on me. I do. Mwah, real cute. All right, y'all, this is our walking outfit. Cute, comfy, casual. <laughs> Alright y'all, we just did 4.5 miles and I had to tinkle really badly so we about to go in Sweet Greens and that's where my meal gonna come from tonight. Sweet Greens, I hope they're, yep they open or they might be finna close. Are they closed? Uh, they're closed! Oh my god, what time do they close? Girl, they must close at eight. This is bananas. Oh my God, y'all, now I really gotta go to Target. I have to use the restroom so bad. We are back, y'all. I got my Caesar salad. My chicken somewhere over there. I'm just so hungry. I'm eating a salad without the chicken. Oh, y'all. Let me give y'all an update, cause I don't think I can tell y'all for real, but we did 4.48 miles. We were real close to 4.5 miles in an hour and 30 minutes. Weather was nice. Um, Y'all, we saw a whole 5K going on. We passed by them. They were giving out oranges, water. What else, Lex? They were giving out oranges, water. <laughs> that girl is so crazy. <laughs> she gonna do it like this. I cannot. They had little bowls. I'm sure they had probably like a sandwich or something in there because people did a 5K for Ramadan because it is Ramadan right now. I feel so proud, y'all, because this is a park that I always go to and I always get to a certain point and then I stop. But Lexus was like, come on, let's do the whole thing. And we did the whole thing and I feel accomplished. <laughs> Shout out to my girl, Lex. Y'all, I'm trying to tell Lexus I want to host a movie night and she will not tell me the name of this song, uh, of the movie. I want to host a movie night and I want to choose a good movie that's like going to make people laugh and have a good time. <laughs> that's a good wish. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the movie so I ain't got to sing? These people going to block me. Sing it. <laughs> Y'all know the movie. It's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to make that money for the rent. <laughs> what is that the right words? That was not the right words. I don't even know what you're talking about. This one, girl, need a black card revoked. You don't even know what it, that's a damn song. What the hell? I know it's a part of a movie. You know it's hard out here for a pimp, you ain't know. When he trying to make the money for the rent, you ain't know. All the Cadillac and gas money spent. When he trying to... Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow is the name of the movie. Not you, I... <laughs> I don't even know the words to the song, but I want us to be in that. Hard out 
in for a pimp. So you just want us to sing? I so want us might, to have a good time watching. Just good watch movie. a musical then. <laughs> I want us. I want us to be laughter. Maybe we can watch a comedy special. If you want country wine comedy special. Look at you. This is <laughs> obsessed with country wine. I ain't never seen nothing like it. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Country wine. Let me pop a picture of country up right here. Please. Hot out here for a pimp. What's a good movie though, y'all? Drop some movies down below. I want to host a movie night in April. Mm-hmm. I ain't buying no food. <laughs> Popcorn. You are not a good movie host. I'm a great host. Well, you host a great bring food. What kind of food do people bring to movie night? I'm going to order pizza. Oh, yeah. I can order us some pizza and some popcorn. No, B Y O B. Yeah. Hello, y'all. Happy Saturday. Today we have a lot, kind of a lot, but not really on our agenda. I need to go give you some coffee first things first. I need to go to Target. They got that little jumpsuit that I bought on sale, so I do want the price difference for that. Run me my coins, okay? And then I might use whatever money I get back. I might use it to purchase the green one. Um, so Target, coffee, well, coffee Target, nail salon. I do need to get my toes done really, really bad today because, girl, they look a mess. I'm not wearing nothing too special today. I have on my Burberry shades, a very old pretty little thing top that says overdressed, and some black tights. Nothing too crazy. I am wearing some Birkenstock type shoes. I do think I'm still going to get some Birkenstocks just to see how I like them. Um, just to like throw on days like this because I look very chill. And I want some chill shoes. So, yeah. Before we do anything, I got my AirPods charging up. So, I can watch some vlogs or whatever I need to watch. Maybe edit some TikToks while I am at the nail salon. Talk on the phone. And then I got to walk the dog. So, I'll meet y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. We got our Dunkin'. Now, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. Normally, when I come to Dunkin', I get a uh, breakfast sandwich. But... I'm not in the mood for that today. Just go chit chat and talk. We was gonna do seafood. I'm not in the mood for that today. Nothing really matches coffee. I feel like this probably gonna curb my appetite a little bit, but I could go for like schlotskis, like a turkey sandwich or something like that. I ain't really got no taste for nothing. And I hate those days. Like, you know, you just be hungry and you don't know what you wanna eat. You just know you need to eat. Because right now my head hurting. Because I'm hungry. So I'm about to try to find some shade real quick. So that we can talk and chat. Oh my God, that's a one way. Yeah, so we can talk and chat about what we got to do today. Dinner is tonight. I'm excited. Y'all know I love dressing up, love looking cute. Um, but to be honest, y'all. I feel like this really should have been a do not disturb weekend because I just feel tired. Like I can go back home and get back in the bed right now. But I ain't got no energy to do nothing. I do need to go to Ulta today because my lashes are uneven. As you can see, this eye is more fuller than the left eye. I was rubbing this eye quite a lot this week. I think I was stressed. So I was rubbing this eye, especially at the front, so a lot came out. So I'm going to go to Ulta get my little Kiss and Press lashes to give myself like a refill. But, yeah. I think we're going to eat Chick-fil-A. I haven't got that uh, chicken tender, not chicken tender, but like the grilled nugget macaroni combo that I used to like. So I think that's probably what I'm going to get. Because it's like I want to eat. But I don't want to eat nothing real heavy. While I'm at the nail shop, I need to see what the menu is like at the place that we're going tonight for dinner. I'm excited for dinner because we're going to a place that has live entertainment. I think this is one of the first places in Houston that has that. So, yes, I'm excited to go.
All right, y'all. Nail appointment over. Well, it was an appointment, so nail visit over. Um, that guy did so good on my toes. I have not had a male to do my toes in a very, very long time, and I really enjoyed it. He did so good. I am about to go home now. I just checked the Target app. Um, for whatever reason, I thought the uh, jumpsuit went down from $40 to like $28 or something. It's $30, so if I go and do like a price difference, I'll get $8 back. I could definitely do something with that $8 because I, I got some stuff that I need to get from Target. However, I don't necessarily feel like going to Target right now. My stomach is trying to hurt. Aunt Flo will be visiting me in two days. So the symptoms are starting to kick in, which explains why I was feeling tired today. Um, and it's five o'clock. Dinner reservations is at eight and I'm picking up a friend. So I think it probably would be best for me to just go ahead and go home and place a target pickup order. Oh my God, he almost made them people wreck. Wow, that's crazy. Um, but thank you for letting me out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go home. I think that would be in my best interest interest right now. I already have my clothes set out and then I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs bag with it. This definitely this definitely looks like a fall outfit. Um just because the colors are muted and we are in spring. But I don't care. I probably could lighten this up by wearing like a gray a light gray or a light um brown or oatmeal type of top but i don't have one so yeah we're just gonna be bringing fall vibes to the spring and i am gonna be wearing this off-white bag this spring just because i want to wear it all right y'all we are about to start our makeup i am not in a rush but I do kind of want to get this done in a timely manner. Okay, y'all, we are ready. I have on this two-piece set from Fashion Nova. I did tie my shirt so that it won't be so plain or boring looking. And I am wearing my white Marc Jacobs bag. It is such a cute outfit. My makeup came out so freaking pretty. We're running late, so let's go. We are at Koya. For the people to come. No. I'll have to show you a video. It's so cute. Let's talk about Koya. Let's talk about Koya. The food on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna have to get a food five point five, maybe six. Um, the performance has to be like an eight out of ten. They did really good with the performance. I can get them an eight, maybe a nine. Um, the drinks were inconsistent, so for that, I'm gonna give the drinks a six. Total rating of the restaurant, I will give it a seven, maybe a six, 6.5. I'll give it 6.5. Will I go back? I will go back for the speak easy side. They have a speak easy side where they, um, I don't know if you can eat on that side or not, but that's the only way I'll go back. Um, I'll go back to see the performances too. Basically what I'm saying is I'll go back just for like drinks, not for the food. I will eat before I get there because 
the food was very much subpar. I don't think I told y'all about my scent of the night, but it was Burberry. No, this is not Burberry. Carolina Herrera blush. It smelled really good tonight. I like it. it smelled real good. I got compliments on my outfit tonight. The way I tied up my shirt. After we left Koya, we went to Urban Social. Urban Social is always a good time. Now we're home. We're about to wake up, wipe off this face, shower, and get in the bed. Hello, y'all. Happy Sunday. Today is March 24th, and we're getting this day started, y'all. So I have met with my friend. I returned the camera to her today because yesterday we went to dinner, and then we spontaneously went out to, like, a little lounge, and she ended up leaving the lounge earlier than me. So instead of me going to the car to get the camera to get to her, um, she just decides to pick it up today. So I did that this morning. I also went to Target to pick up a couple of things. And it's so crazy because my when I met up with my friend, she showed me this tumbler and she had sent us the link. Well, this is not a tumbler, this is a flask. She sent us the link to this flask in february because target had released like their spring collection and stuff like that and this was a part of the spring collection stanley flasks are about 26 dollars, so with taxes they can run you about 30 dollars. but this one was 15 dollars. so i went and got this one for me and i got this one for myron so we both have our flask for when we are like going to the pool downstairs or when we are on trips and stuff like that so i didn't show y'all everything that i picked up in target so i'm just about to show y'all the other three things that i got because y'all saw the stanley flask y'all saw the command hook and command strip for picture hanging i believe i showed y'all the washi tape i believe and then i showed y'all the flask somehow this list up was 70 dollars girl that's why I don't be going to Target. I don't be playing with Target because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items, seventy-five dollars. Please. But yeah, so I picked up some stuff for Rocco. Dog moms be like, I can't go to the store without buying stuff for my dog. So I got him some treats, some little dog biscuits. I got him a new toy that he's probably not gonna play with. But the dog stuff was buy one, get one 40% off. So y'all hear him coming over here. So um, I got him some stuff because it was buy one, get one 40% off. And I got him some anti-itch spray because it is his allergy season and he's been itching a lot. So, but the cleaner is coming tomorrow. So today we will, today we will be putting things in their place so that when she come, she can just like fold clothes up, mop, sweep, sweep mop, dust. She gonna clean my floor to ceiling windows cause I ain't doing it. She gonna hit the baseboards and all of that kind of stuff. So I wanna have everything up off the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh y'all so much to unpack here i pretty much have not done anything i think i checked in with y'all when i got back from target i told y'all what i got and i told y'all what the plan was going to be for the rest of the day i talked on the phone and then i started getting hit with like back pains and all that kind of stuff girl aunt flo came to visit one day early and normally she comes to visit um, in the morning. That's when she makes her first arrival. But girl, why today she's giving midday? I started my day in a great mood. I met my friend. I talked with my friend. I went to Target. I wasn't rushing in Target. Today was a very even kill day. Like, I was just chilling. Like, no rush. Nothing about my Sunday was a rush. And it felt amazing until around four maybe five o'clock and i started to feel my mood go down i started to feel tired drowsy and even more so than that my back started hurting 
right now it's 8 30 and i feel nauseous um nausea is a symptom that i had as a young girl like as a teenager nausea was my worst symptom even more than cramps and for whatever reason i'm starting to get nauseous again during my cycle it started last month in february i was nauseous this is the second time that i've been nauseous and i hate feeling nauseous i feel like nausea is one of the worst things that you can feel like cramping hurts back pains hurt but, but being nauseous is just on a whole different level you can have an appetite but you don't want to eat because you're scared you're going to vomit or you're scared that the smell of the food is going to make you vomit that's how i feel like i want to eat something but i might vomit i had tacos earlier from torchies they were disgusting didn't eat them at some point tonight i am going to hang up those pictures because i'm tired of them just hanging around chilling and then also i need to sign off on my notes but so my assistant and i can get paid this week so i will be doing that probably within the next five minutes and yeah i need to start loading the footage for the tuesday vlog maybe i need to take some pain medicine before i do all of this yeah also i got a new phone case this is similar to a color that i've had before i think this is like a muted like gray color and i wanted something very muted so yeah i was tired of that silver case and i wanted another black and cream or black and white case but i'll get that from Shein. i got this from amazon it was ten dollars So, I don't know if I told y'all. Hold on. I have not told y'all. Like, it be so much going on in my life, y'all, that I be thinking about something and I be meaning to mention it, but then I don't mention it because the next thought is in my mind. Or I'm on to the next thing that I have to do, the next thing on my to-do list. But, y'all, we have reached 500 subbies. Right now, I think we're at 513. So we are continuously growing and I just am super duper grateful. Let me check to see what our current numbers are. Yes, we are currently at 513. So thank y'all so much for y'all support. I wish I could scream on the vlog without being so obnoxious because I'm so happy. Like this has been a journey. YouTube is such a true labor of love no matter what platform i'm on like if i'm on tiktok if i'm on youtube not youtube but uh instagram threads if i'm on instagram if i'm on twitter everybody on all four of those platforms say the same exact thing about youtube youtube is the platform that takes the most work it is a platform that takes longer to grow and it's not the same for everybody everybody's path is not linear everybody's growth is not linear you will meet some people who will post a couple videos and grow 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 but then you'll meet some people who grow at a very slow rate so you just have to remember that growth is not linear everybody is different so anyway youtube is the most rewarding um out of all of the platforms um so yeah i feel grateful to be on this platform growing i feel super duper grateful y'all so thank y'all so much for supporting me and if you are a silent subscriber i rock with you still but comment down below sometimes let me know you're watching let me know if you like the videos and y'all all of my people who watch the girls who comment the girls who are silent if y'all want to see more from me like different videos different types of videos like silent vlogs or anything like that let me know i'm open to all suggestions i'm open to all commentary so let me know your thoughts y'all i'm open once again thank y'all 
so so much i'm so excited we are now on a journey to 600 subscribers and i hit my goal of 500 one week early because i wanted to have 500 subbies by the end of march here we are we are now on our journey to 600 so whoop, whoop, big shouts out to us now back to applying for the partnership because that's what i was doing so yes, at 500 Sub Bs, you are eligible to apply for the YouTube Partner Program. And I'm on step two, where they're asking me to sign up for AdSense. And although I'm not at 1,000 Sub Bs yet, it just feels so freaking surreal to be applying for a Google AdSense. Because that's how YouTubers get paid. They get paid from Google AdSense. So for me to be applying for this... I don't know i just it just feels like such a surreal moment y'all so i have applied for adsense and they have to review everything i guess they gotta review like my address information and then once they approve the google adsense application um they said it would take one day so once that is approved they will do a review of my page to make sure that I don't have any like copyrighted content, I guess. And then we will be finally approved, y'all. But as I was like going through um, my channel to make sure I didn't have any copyrights or whatever, I found this video that I have on private. I made a gift basket using Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, and Whole Foods items. And this video I posted in August of 2016 it is on private now so yeah i've always been watching youtube on youtube and kind of posting like i got some old videos on here i just stopped posting after a while because life but yeah my very first video was posted in april i did record my college graduation from Jackson State University the Jackson State University so I have a short two-minute clip it's like a slideshow then when I first started my channel y'all fun fact I wanted my channel to be about like DIY crafting and hair reviews so that's where this comes from I did a hair review from an Ali Express company and it actually had got a lot of views back then <laughs> got some comments and stuff too but i have this video as unlisted and then i did some stuff for grad school and then i came back in 2022 wow so from 2016 to 2022 i came back as the Aaliyah ariel brand when I'm so from this angle this one is a little bit more higher it could come down a little bit but i might let myron do that when he get here because yeah or i might try to redo it tomorrow but yeah, so I just want to show y'all that it is hanging. I feel like I'm gonna like this side more because I got this over here, this shoe cabinet, and I possibly could put another shoe cabinet on the other side, but I really don't want to have too much stuff in one area. But we'll see. But so far I am liking it. Maybe I can put our knot that we made as we were tying the knot over here but yeah anyway i just want to show y'all that the pictures are up and i will be working on this area getting it together all right y'all so we are gonna go ahead and end the vlog out here i feel like this vlog has been going on for a very very long time um but that's because i've been vlogging since probably monday or tuesday and today is sunday so this is truly a weekly vlog and this is going to be the end of the weekly vlog. So if you're still watching at this point and you have not liked this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Like the video, share this video with a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.